Cookie Ken, and you're watching Kilt Can Cook. The Scottish cooking journal that encourages young women to have the confidence and competence they need to conquer the kitchen. <laughs> Happy Halloween, and in honour of the holiday, we're going to cook a special family recipe. We're going to take a human leg, slow roast it in a special blood sauce. Then, as a side dish, we're going to mash up some cellulite and serve it with some sautéed witch's fingers. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. Let's get about it, shall we? Oh, hey, this recipe's been in my family for years. If, but if using human flesh and basic cannibalism makes you squeamish, feel free to substitute a pork loin, mashed potatoes instead of cellulite, and green beans if you can of find witch's fingers. We're going to start by making our super spooky blood sauce. And to do that, we're going to open up a bottle for the cheapest Thousand Island dressing we could find. Now, I've tried to open in this bottle with a knife, but that plastic is really tough, and it's probably unsafe to be eating all those wee bits of plastic that are coming off. So, uh, my recommendation, don't do what I just did, and just squeeze as much as you can into the thing, and then set aside for later. Next, we'll open up a tin of cranberry sauce. Make sure you get the kind without the bits and bobs and whatnot. Be careful with that lid, it's very sharp, of course. And just kind of squeeze on in there. It'll come out eventually. Like so. Now chop up an onion and get ready to mix up our sauce. I'm using a tarty mashik here because it's much easier to mush up that jellied cranberry sauce. Now I understand this looks a wee bit yeah, disgusting, but I promise you it's going to be delicious. And get the last bit of thousand other out there. Of course we're going to use a crock pot to slow cook this sucker. I like to get the Cheap meat, because the longer you cook cheap meat, the tastier and more tender it gets. Oh, just like so. Get it all out of the bag like that. Now, my different twist to the family recipe is that I'm going to salt my meat before I start cooking. First salt one side, then the other. Kosher salt is of course the best used for cooking, while table salt is best used for seasoning. And then add the rest of your sauce, let it cook for 6 hours, and then check to see if it's cooked. If it pulls apart easily, it's finished. If it doesn't, let it cook for another few hours. This is potato, or tatty. It's dirty. Now, I didn't mind some dirt in my mashed tatties, you might. So, I'll set a good example and tidy it up a bit. With our tatty cleaned of dirt, we'll take a peeler and cut away all that extra skin. Now, the skin is healthy and tasty, but it's not the aesthetic we're looking for, so it has to go. You see these wee eyes? We're going to take the top of our peeler and just kind of scoop them on out. Uh, every once in a while, the eyes of potatoes are a naturally occurring source of poison, and while it's taking an awful lot to hurt you, better safe than sorry. Now, I'm going to take a paring knife and just use my thumb to kind of guide the knife through the potato. If you're not confident in your skills, don't try this. It is risky. I'm going to set a pot to boil, but while it heats up, I'm going to add the tarty bits so that they heat up with the water. Then, of course, I'm going to cover the whole thing with a lid so that it boils faster. Now, for our green beans, very simple. We're just going to get some butter melted, dump in a handful of beans, add, uh, well, a wee bit of garlic for seasoning. Oh, okay, that's a wee bit too much garlic. We're going to add some kosher salt, of course, because remember, that's best for cooking. And then we're going to add some herb de Provence. This is a nice floral blend of herbs. I like the flavour, it uh, gives some vegetables uh, and even some meat. It's quite tasty. I think you'll enjoy it if you ever try it. Let's get back to our water. Is it boiling? No. Alright, well it takes a wee bit of time to get water boiling. So we're going to put a lid back on, and I'm going to stir the greens some more. As time passes, you'll see them start to shrink a wee bit. That's just natural cooking. Perfectly natural. Now, one way to check to see if our tatties are ready to mash is to do a light squeeze with some tongs. If they're done a crumble, then they are not ready. Alright, now these beans are though, so let's turn the heat down on them. Okay, time has passed, another 5-10 minutes or so. Let's give it a check. Oh, it's good. See how it starts to crumble a wee bit? That's perfect for my preferences. Exactly what we need. So, we'll set them to a colander in the sink, and then we're going to drain the water. Don't get burned by the, the steam or splash bath. Of course, dump the potatoes back into the pot. It's time to get started mashing. That's my favourite part. Well, alright. First, while the potatoes are still hot, we're going to add a tablespoon or so of butter, not margarine, so that it melts easier and blends better with the tatties. And just start mashing. Just go to town on it. Have fun. We wanted our potatoes boiled to the point of being soft so that the spat was easy, but not too soft because we wanted it to absorb that cream easier. 
and we add about a quarter cup or so. We're not making potato soup here. Add salt, a wee bit of pepper, and a much smaller amount of garlic. Aye, that's about right. Maybe one eighth of a tablespoon. Teaspoon, sorry. One eighth of a teaspoon. And then, you know what? Let's, um, let's take a sample of this. Take a fresh spoon or fork, see how it tastes. I could use a wee bit more cream. I want this creamy, I want this perfect. Oh, aye, this is looking good. This is looking like, um, like whipped cream. Oh, it's perfect. All right, now you're ready to plate. You can, of course, have as much or as little as you want. The pork looks good, the tatties look good, the green beans look good. I love it. And there you have it, my special Halloween recipe. Now, in full disclosure, it was actually intended to be something else since I cooked this meal at least three weeks ago. But frankly, I think it looks pretty good, doesn't it? You're watching Kilt's Can Kick, a Scottish cooking channel that encourages young men and women to have the confidence and competence they need to conquer the kitchen. <laughs> Happy Halloween to the lot of you.